There are four classes of laxatives. First, we have the osmotic, like these containing magnesium, polyethylene glycol, and lactulose. These are osmotically active, and they work by drawing water into the lumen of the GI tract. Next, we have the bulk forming agents like psyllium and methyl cellulose. From the names, you can tell that these are fibers, and they work by absorbing water and making a bulky mass that distends the walls of the GI tract, initiating contractions. Next, we have the emulants or the stool softeners like ducusate. Ducusate disturbs the surface tension at the surface of the stool, allowing the incorporation of water and fat into the stool, making it softener. Lastly, we have the stimulants like senna, both starts with an S. They irritate the nerves in the walls of the GI tract, initiating contractions. There is another clinical use for lactulose in the case of hepatic encephalopathy. What happens in normal individuals is that when ammonia is absorbed from the GI tract, it is detoxified in the liver. But in the case of cirrhosis, the liver is outside of the picture and ammonia could reach the brain. What happens when lactulose is given, it will be broken down by the gut bacteria into acids. And these acids provide hydrogen that combines with the ammonia, making ammonium, which is charged. And since it's charged, it wouldn't be absorbed and it would be excreted from the GI tract.